Hey, what's up, guys? Yeah, so this is my new series, uh, which is should be the startup. Basically, mm -hmm. I would, I'm I'm interested in the equipment, the algebra, so I build my own extra notes. So hope you guys subscribe to my channel. Uh, so this kind of series will take longer. Uh, will take a lot of videos, like an the number theory. But I want to start from the group. I'm talking about the equipment, the algebra, and its representation. Okay, so uh, uh, let me just uh. Maybe spend some time to uh first uh, spend some time to talk about the uh, the the idea. Okay, so the first one I want to talk about is the general theory. So basically, just talking about definition of the group and uh, the algebra, and also like the uh, yeah, it's just some definition. And uh, and the second part is that uh. So usually the equipment, the algebra are very exotic in general. So uh, one can talk about uh, uh, the semi-simple the algebra. Okay, basically over a complex. And if you add like the finite dimensional, and then you can prove that uh, this will give you the thinking diagram. So so-called thinking, uh, thinking diagram. Okay, and also a uh, rule system. Okay, and uh, <clears throat> okay, and the next uh next one is basically so once you uh you classify some of this uh thinking use thinking diagram to classify a simple the algebra, then you can talk about the representation. And then you can check out my uh, previous that uh, one is the uh, for representation, the basic fundamental should be finite group representation. So uh, there are many ingredients like the character table and the also connality, also connality, like the row also connality and the column also connality. And then we want to generalize this uh, finite group representation, this good uh, like short statement into the uh, the algebra representation. And then we can start with the algebra and then go to a legal representation. Okay, so the standard uh, famous in the quantum mechanics of physicists with the SU2. And then we can also talk SU3 and keep going. Okay. And uh, yes, and uh, finally, here's a, uh, the final thing I want to talk about is the standard results in the algebraic topology, the fundamental group of the group. Okay. Okay, and uh, also the while the the while theory or many kind of things that I will also talk about. Okay, so the first uh, video will be uh, very simple. So yeah, so I want to uh, review the matrix exponential. Okay, so this would be the simplest starting point. <laughs> At least I think this is very basic, so I should spend spend some time talk about it. Okay, so the starting point is S is n by n matrices. So n by n, uh, n by n matrices with the coefficient complex number. And then we want to define exponential x. And I think everyone knows about calculus, knows this is standard definition. Uh, for the, this entire expansion of the original exponential x, but for x is a complex n by n matrix, num uh, matrix then one can use that, uh, this definition to define the exponential x. Okay, and uh, so if exponential x exists, Due to, uh, due to what? Due to the wire truss M test. Okay. Due to the wires, wires truss M test. Okay, the reason is that the uh, exponential X, if you take the uh, the norm, basically the matrix norm, just the, the, it's like the Euclidean norm, but you sum over all the elements and square and take the square roots. So very stupid proof of this. And uh, this guy always converge because this X norm is always bounded. Okay, so let's tell you that uh, this exponential x exists. Now uh, let's see uh, this see uh, series coverage. Okay, so this is well defined. Okay. Okay, also uh, you can check, which is a stupid, is that exponential x is continuous function. Okay, because exponential x, you can this is this can be easy to prove, right? Because in uh, for each element, you just the composition of the continuous function. 
Okay, let me just write down my norm. So this x norm is defined to be, you take all the uh all the square and then sum from j k in and then take the square roots. Okay, and then also uh one can simply check this x. This is the standard norm. So we get also x y is that so equal to x and y. Okay, now uh. So let's go to the simple property. So this is a simple property of uh, of matrix exponential. Okay, so uh, first one is exponential zero is identity. And the second one is that you take the complex conjugates, then you should do the complex, con uh, so you should, you should get a complex conjugate, you should get a complex conjugate on the, on the, this, on the matrix. So these two are trivial. Uh, exponential x is invertible because it's inverse is exponential x inverse minus x. Okay, you can easily check that yeah, exponential x is when negative x is identity. Okay, and also it's linear. Okay, and then if uh, if x if uh, x y equals y x, then exponential x plus y will be exponential x exponential y. Okay, so notice that. Uh, exponential x, exponential y is different from exponential y, exponential x, if uh, x do not come in with y. You can easily prove this, right? Because if x, y equals y, x, then you do the exponential x, exponential y expansion, then you can exchange, uh, you can just exchange every, every, uh, every x and y, and you get the results, okay? Well, six is exponential, C X C inverse. So imagine that C is a general linear group, which is just n by n matrices, but invertible is basically uh, C exponential X C inverse. Okay, so I don't want to prove these six things, six things, because I think these six things are simple. Right? So you, if anything, if you learn about linear algebra, that you should know, notice how to prove it. Okay, so maybe, okay, let me still give the remark. Remark that if you go to X, Y, to M, then you do the, you do what? This is the binomial theorem, right? Binomial coefficient. So mk, uh, x, k, y, m minus k. And uh, right, so you, if you do x, x minus x minus y, then you count uh, one over uh, infinity m from zero, one over n factorial x plus y m. Okay, because you can exp uh, flip it. So if y x, x y equals y x, then you can flip it and you get this and you get the results, you get this. Okay, and uh, theorem, this theorem is simple. So x is n by n, n, by n uh, complex matrices. Then uh, this potential tx is smooth in uh, M and C. Okay, the proof is very simple, right? Because this is a uh, com uh, continuous function, then obviously composition exponential x is always differentiable. So you can just do a differentiation, so it's smooth. Okay, and uh, yeah, so let me just uh, quickly say the next is that how to use, how, how can one computing the expo uh, exponential? In uh, in the like the compute like the if you somebody hand you a matrix and you really want to compute something, okay. So the first special case, the special case one is that uh, if x is diagonalizable, okay. If x is diagonalizable, okay. In this case, it's trivial right? because you can write x equals to maybe uh u x a u d u inverse. Uh, where uh, u is just some matrices and d is diagonal. So one can write d maybe lambda one up to lambda n. Okay. 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 And, uh, and you can also check that, uh, right, so your exponential x will be uh, u exponential lambda one up to uh, exponential lambda n and the inverse. Hopefully, uh, this is not difficult. Okay, because by definition, uh, by definition, you know x to the m is a uh, u d m u inverse. So if you do the summation x to the m m from m factorial m from zero to infinity, you always get u 
summation d to the n and factorial and from zero to infinity u inverse. So this guy will be uh, the exponential d and exponential diagonal matrices is the exponential of the diagonal elements. Okay, so uh, special case two. So special case two is also uh, common is basically x, when x is nilpotent. Okay, so x is nilpotent. Okay, so usually in the linear algebra that the, the so usually in the stand, like uh, based on what, what's your background, but in the undergraduate linear algebra that people usually don't talk about uh, the nilpotent. But actually, the important matrices is is uh is has is very interesting. So important means that the uh, x to the m is zero. Is this some a? Okay, so basically you do do some maybe you do some finite power it becomes zero. Okay, then in in this case x exponential x is trivial, right? But basically you can just compute, right? So you can just write make maybe write k from zero to m minus one and the uh, x to the k k factorial, and it's trivial, right? Because you always become finite sum, so like, who cares, right? You can always compute. Okay, but what the hell if, if, if well, what, what, what the hell, right? What the hell if X is not, not, not important and not, not diagonalizable? Okay, so this is the theorem. Okay, so uh, in general, in general, this is, uh, I will not prove this, uh, maybe prove in the future, but this is basically a linear algebra fact. So you can, it's basically, you, you can go to your, you can just go online and find a proof. So linear algebra fact. It's that any matrices X can always write uniquely as M plus S uniquely. Okay, such that, uh, such that S is diagonalizable. So this guy is diagonal, diagonalizable. And at least N is important. Okay, and also amazing is that X, uh, S, N equals to N, S. Okay, so they are commuting. So exponential X is basically exponential N, exponential S. Okay, and uh, these, these two, uh, this one, this one is important, right? So you can use important and this one is diagonalizable. Okay, so this guy can be computed. It can be computed. Okay, so this is like a general strategy of computing the matrix exponential because uh, you also, you already know the diagonalizable part and also know the important part and they are both commutes. So you combine with all the results that you get these results. Uh, yeah, talking about some small example, let's say x, y, zero, zero minus a, a. Also x2 is a zero, a, b, zero, zero, c, zero, zero, zero. And then maybe x3 is a, a. B, Z, A, okay. So exponential X, Y is a famous result. Basically is a rotation matrices, cosine A, sine A, negative sine A, cosine A. Okay, and the exponential X2. Okay, so the X2 is a nipotent, okay, so you can check. I think it's X2 cube should be zero, I think so. Now if you square it, it will might be zero, or maybe, yeah, if you square it, you get some, this matrix here, right? And then you, you and you do a lot, the last part you get zero. Okay, so your x2 cube is zero. So your exponential x2 will be uh, identity matrices plus x2 plus x2 squared divided by two. Okay, so this is uh, just a simple calculation. Then you can get the exponential x2 will be one, 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 a, b plus a, c divided by two, c. Okay. And also, uh, what so what is this one? Uh, this one you can write as a uh, IA times identity plus zero B zero zero. Okay. So you can see that these guys are important and these guys are uh, diagonalizable. So you can use the formula. So exponential X three will be exponential I identity times exponential zero B zero zero. Okay. And then these guys are important matrices so you can compute its results. Okay. Okay, so uh, this is, I think this is what I want to talk about the uh, uh, matrix exponential. Okay, uh, oh, what's next? Hmm. Okay. Uh, hmm. 
Okay. Maybe uh okay, maybe next time I talk about the matrix uh logarithm and the uh, and also the uh also there is a theorem called the Lie product formula. Okay. So I will prove the rest in the next videos. Hope you guys subscribe to my channel.